you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency, Linus Pauling. I've been a raw foodist uh, for many, many years, probably eight or ten years, and I had my minerals checked, and I could not believe how deficient I was in a whole bunch of minerals. So I started taking these, you know, what we call liquid angstrom minerals, and the way they're produced is that you take purified water, okay, which is going to be like distilled water, and then you put the minerals in there, you electroplate them in there, sometimes you then for the excite them with laser or something like this. So there's all sorts of different methods, but usually it's electroplated, and we call it liquid angstrom minerals because Angstrom refers to the size of the minerals, so we're down to the uh, atomic level. You take a small little, about a teaspoon, put it into your mouth and hold it under your tongue, under your, and, uh, and, and it'll be absorbed directly into the body through your sublingual duct. You can take these minerals individually, like this, this is platinum, I take that one first thing in the morning. Uh, and then I have 26 different minerals total. You could take magnesium, you could take potassium. Uh, maybe you know you're, you're, you're low on one particular mineral and you know you want to you know, concentrate on that one. You can take silver by itself if you had a, have an infectious disease or something like that. Uh, you could take gold at night because that's really good for sleeping. Or you could do the whole full spectrum blend that's got all 26 into it. You take a small amount, take about a teaspoon, and this liquid angstrom mineral, hold it under your tongue, goes right into your body directly. Minerals aren't always compatible with each other, and the reason is is because they have some of them, like for instance, the best example would be copper and zinc. They're, they're very, very closely related. If you look on the periodic table, the weight of, of, of zinc and copper is just little, literally just a little bit off. So the body that can't really recognize exactly what it's taking in, and it might take in zinc instead of copper and vice versa. Um, so it's important to not really take all these minerals at the same time if it's possible. Now again, if you just want to take like a multi-mineral, you're best doing the full spectrum. So I broke these minerals out into three blends, a morning blend, an afternoon blend, and an evening blend. And that way, when you're taking these particular minerals at those times, they'll not interfere with each other. As I said, like zinc and copper, you want to make sure you take those a few hours apart so your body can recognize the right one, see the zinc, get it, use it as supposed to, take the copper another time because then the body will say, oh, there's copper, it'll go use it and, and not have that confusion in there. The morning blend will have magnesium, platinum, potassium, selenium, silicon, silver, and zinc. Now the afternoon blend, that one has boron, calcium, cobalt, uh, germanium, indium, iodine, iron, lanthanum, lithium, molybdenum, palladium, and zinc. The evening blend, bismuth, chromium, copper, gold, sodium, sulfur, and tin. So you take these three at least two hours apart, but actually you should take them in the morning, then the afternoon, then the evening and you're kind of taking your minerals throughout the day and each one of the minerals in here won't interfere with each other. Now, I put in here platinum in the morning because that's a brain mineral, indium in the afternoon, that's a brain mineral, that's for uh, your pineal gland, and then gold at night, that's for sleeping and for sleep regulation, helps you to remember your dreams, that kind of stuff. So that just gives you an, a, kind of an idea how I went about this, how I decided to put these into three different categories and, and to break them out. So you could take them all at once in the full spectrum, the 20 six minerals or as I said you break them out if you want to be a little more careful about it make sure you're getting your minerals exactly when you're supposed to morning morning blend afternoon blend evening blend a little bit more trouble but when it comes to minerals you can trace every sickness every disease and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. That's how I started this. That's that's Linus Pauling, Nobel Prize win winner. He was certainly right about this one. There's no doubt about it. Dr. Joe Wallach, he wrote 
uh, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. He talked about the importance of minerals in the body and how really uh, we've had so many of the minerals farmed out of our uh, out of the soil. It's really even even if you're very careful about you know the, your diet, it's really really difficult to get all these minerals that you're going to need in your diet. So that's why we have these liquid angstrom minerals and you know and the ability for your body to really get everything it needs because every physiological process depends on a mineral. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. Check out my new book, God's Path to Disease-Free Living, What the Scriptures Tell Us About Health. Remember that your body is your temple, and honoring it will give you greater health than you ever imagined. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my health updates.